Assembling the protection box. Assembling Adafruit GPIO breakout cable. Raspberry Pi OS. The Raspberry Pi OS is a free operating system based on Debian, optimized for the Raspberry Pi hardware, and is the recommended operating system for normal use on a Raspberry Pi. The OS comes with over 35,000 packages, a pre-compiled software bundled in a nice format for easy installation on your Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi OS is under active development with, with an emphasis on improving the stability and performance of as many Debian packages as possible on the Raspberry Pi. Updating and upgrading Raspberry Pi OS it's important to keep your Raspberry Pi up to date. The first and probably the most important reason is security. A device running Raspberry Pi OS contains millions of lines of code that you rely on. Over time, these millions of lines of code will expose well-known vulnerabilities which are documented in publicly available databases, meaning that they are easy to exploit. The only way to mitigate these exploits as a user of Raspberry Pi OS is to keep your software up to date as the upstream repositories track CVEs closely and try to mitigate them quickly. The second reason which is re just related to the first is that the software you're running on your device most certainly contains bugs and some bugs are CVEs but bugs could also be affecting the desired functionality without being related to security. By keeping your software up to date, you are lowering the chances of hitting these bugs. Using the APT The easiest way to manage installing, upgrading, and removing software is using APT or the Advanced Packaging Tool from Debian. To update software in Raspberry Pi OS, you can use the APT tool from a terminal window. APT keeps a list of software sources on your Pi in a file on the etc, etc apt sources.list. Before installing software, you should update your package list with the APT update. Now go ahead and open the terminal window and type sudo apt update. Then next, upgrade all your installed packages to their la latest versions with the following command sudo apt or app full upgrade in using the apt note that the full upgrade is used in preference to a simple upgrade as it also picks up any dependency changes that may have been made now generally speaking doing this regularly will keep your installation up to date for the particular major raspberry pi os release you are using now it will not update from one major release to another but for example stretch to buster or buster to bullseye however there are occasional changes made in the raspberry pi os image that require manual intervention for example a newly introduced package these are not installed with an upgrade as this command only updates the packages you have already installed now note that the kernel and firmware are installed as a Debian package and so we'll also get updates when using the procedure above. These packages are updated infrequently and after extensive testing. If moving an existing SD card to a new Raspberry Pi model, for example the Pi 0 2W, you may also need an update to the kernel and the firmware first using the instructions above. Now when you're running out of space, when running sudo app full upgrade, it will show how much data it will be downloaded and how much space it will take up on the SD card. And it's worth checking with the df slash h that you have enough free disk space as unfortunately app will not do this for you. Also be aware that downloaded package files are kept in the archives and you can remove this in order to free up space with sudo app clean. When in upgrading from previous operating system versions, now a warning here is that upgrading an existing image is possible but it is not guaranteed to work in every circumstance and we do not recommend it. If you do wish to try upgrading your operating system version, 
we strongly suggest making a backup first. We can accept no responsibility for loss of data from a failed update. The latest version of the Raspberry Pi OS is based on the Debian Bullseye. The previous version was based on Buster. If you want to perform an in-place upgrade from Buster to Bullseye and you're, away of the, and you're aware of the risk, just see the instructions in the forum. Searching for software, you can search the archives for a package with a given keyword with app cache search. You can view more information about a package before installing it with an app cache show. Now installing a package with app, typing this command, the sudo apt install tree, should inform the user how much disk space the package will take up and ask for confirmation of the package installation. Entering Y or just pressing enter as yes is the default action and it will allow the installation to occur. This can be bypassed by adding the, the negative sign Y flag to the command. Installing this package makes 3 available for the user. You can uninstall a package with an app remove. The user is prompted to confirm the removal by typing the sudo app remove 3 and again the negative Y flag will auto confirm. You can also choose to completely remove a package and its associated configuration files with app purge by typing sudo app purge 3. Installing a package with app, just type sudo app install 3 and again typing this command should inform the user how much this space the package would take up and ask for confirmation of the package installation. Using RPI Update 